Welcome to Zoho Contracts. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of sharing and collaborating on a contract using Zoho Contracts. Let us get started. To share and collaborate on a contract. First, select the Contracts tab at the top. Here, you will find all your contracts listed. Select the contract you want to share and collaborate on. Once the contract is opened, select the Collaborators tab in the Contract Details panel on the left. Here, you will see options to add collaborators. Click on the Share button to start adding collaborators. In the Collaborators field, type and select the members you want to add. Choose the appropriate permission for each collaborator from the drop-down menu. With view only permission, collaborators can only view the contract document, but they cannot make any edits, add comments or fill fields. With comments only permission, collaborators can review the contract document and add comments, but cannot edit the content or fill fields. With fill fields only permission, collaborators can only fill in the document fields within the contract document, but they cannot make other edits or add comments. With comments and fill fields only permission, collaborators can add comments for feedback and fill in document fields as needed without making other changes to the contract content. With write permission, collaborators can view, edit and add and resolve comments. Once you have provided the necessary permission to the collaborators, you can also choose to notify them via email by checking the notify through email checkbox. Once you have made your selections, click on Share to add the collaborators. Note, remember only contract owners can add collaborators. After sharing the contract with collaborators, the contract owner can track changes made by collaborators by enabling the Track Changes option in the Document Editor. You can also turn on the Track Changes button on the toolbar in the Review mode. Enabling track changes will display any edits made by collaborators as redlining in the document. Now, I will quickly switch tabs and show how this looks to the collaborator. Collaborators will receive an email notification as well as an in-app notification once they are invited as a collaborator to co-author and review a contract. They can access the contract by clicking the link in the invitation email or through the in-app notification or by navigating to the Contracts tab and selecting the Shared With Me view from the drop-down menu. The Contracts tab displays all contracts available for collaboration. Collaborators can click on the desired contract to collaborate on. Based on the permission assigned by the contract owner, they can collaborate on the contract. For collaborators with fill fields only permission, they can input values into document fields by clicking on them and entering the values. Alternatively, they can use the document navigation panel to input values into document fields. To do this, click document navigation at the top. Select fillable fields under the document navigation panel. Click on the desired field in the field list, then enter the value. For example, to input the name Zilka Technologies as Party A, click on Party A Name in the Document Navigation panel, then enter Zilka Technologies as the value. Now I will quickly switch tabs and show how it will look like for the collaborator with right permission. If the collaborator has right permission and wants to edit the contract, they can click on the text they want to edit and make their changes. For those who prefer to provide feedback or ask questions about specific sections, they can add contextual comments. To add comments, they have to switch to the review mode at the top of the document editor, select the text that they want to comment on, and click Add Comment on the toolbar. Collaborators can enter their comment and set the visibility. If the collaborator sets visibility to everyone, the comments will be visible to the contract owner, approvers, collaborators and negotiators. If the collaborator sets visibility to My Organization members, the comments will be visible to the members of the collaborator's organization only. If the collaborator sets visibility to contract owner only, the comments will be visible to the contract owner only. By default, the comment visibility is set to my organization members. 
Now, let us say the collaborator needs to edit or delete a comment that they have made. To edit or delete a comment, collaborators should switch to the review mode and select the comments panel on the right. By hovering over the comment they want to edit or delete, then click more and choose edit or delete. Once collaborators have suggested changes, the contract owner can review and approve or reject your changes. Now I will quickly switch tabs and show how the contract owner can track changes and manage comments. Contract owner can view all the edits and comments made by collaborators in the review mode. You can review the changes by clicking on the red line text and choose to accept or reject the changes. Additionally, after receiving edits, you can utilize the three markup views from the toolbar to preview the document with all the changes highlighted, with the proposed changes accepted, and the original document without any edits. All markup view shows all edits and comments highlighted in the document. No markup view displays the document as if all changes were accepted, showing the final version. Original view shows the document in its original form before any changes were made. Moving on to comments, click on a comment, then add your reply in the reply field. If you have addressed a comment, you can mark it as resolved by clicking the resolve at the top right corner. Contract owners can also change the permissions and remove collaborators from a contract. To change the permission for a collaborator, go to the Collaborators tab and find the collaborator whose permission you want to change. Click on the current permission displayed on the collaborator. Choose the required permission from the drop-down menu and that's it! You have updated the permission for the collaborator. To remove a collaborator, find the collaborator you want to remove in the Collaborators tab and click on Delete next to their name. And click Remove to delete the collaborator. You are now ready to share and collaborate on contracts. For any questions, you can reach us at support at zohocontracts.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.